Let's do the complete combustion of butane. This happens in a lighter if you're still smoking. Don't smoke, it's bad for you, you know that. How does complete combustion work? You start with your reactant, in this case C4H10, which is a gas at room temperature, and you're always reacting it with oxygen. That's what combustion is. It's burning it in air, and the air has the oxygen. What do you get? Well, the answer is the common oxides of these. What's the common oxide of carbon? It's carbon dioxide, gas. What's the common oxide of hydrogen? Not a trick question, it's water, H2O. And when you burn something, it's gonna make gas phase uh, water. All right, this is it. Complete combustion reacts with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. I will balance this for you because I'm a good guy. Now, when I'm doing complete combustion balancing, I like to make sure that I'm gonna have an even number of oxygens here. 10 hydrogens, I would need a five in front. In fact, I'll just do that for you to show you what I mean. Five hydrogens. Four carbons, I would need four carbons here. That's eight, and five is 13 oxygens. But how many pairs do I need to get 13? The official answer is 13 divided by two, or 6.5. Some teachers are not gonna want you to use a fraction. What you would have had to have done was to double everything, put a two in front of the butane. You now have eight carbons, so that four becomes an eight. You have 20 hydrogens. See, you have two molecules and 10 hydrogens each. That means that this number becomes 10. Oh look, everything's just double from what it was. Now I have 16 oxygens here and 10, which makes 26. How many pairs is that? The answer is 13. You may want to use these coefficients if your teacher doesn't like fractions or decimals, but otherwise it's the same reaction. Butane and oxygen mix carbon dioxide and water. All the complete combustions are the same. Best of luck to you.